Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is now 2019, a brand new year, a fresh start. I'm actually filming on the first day, so Happy New Year! If you're new to my channel, welcome. I actually stopped posting in, I guess, maybe the beginning of December because a lot of stuff happened all at once. I got several commissions, six to be exact, and so that filled up my time before I had to go back to Kansas City for work and to see family. So it's been a little crazy. And then when I came back, I developed a cold. It was a really bad head cold, so I've been out of commission for a good week. It's been it's been a little bit of a mess, but it is now the new year. It's a fresh start, and it's fresh content now. So this video is all about my vision board, which I have never made one before. I had never really heard of it before until I started talking to one of my friends. So Miao, thank you so much for giving me the inspiration and the idea to even start to think about a vision board because I really, I'd seen videos about it, but I never really like wanted to do it until you and I started talking. So thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. With vision boards, you can do it, I, I guess, a few ways. You can find stuff in magazines, you can do it digitally and put it all together. I'm still not well versed in the digital field, so I decided what better way than to just quickly slap some paint on some paper and then draw my images and all that fun stuff. So that's exactly what I did. You can see my vision board actually right here. It is already finished, but uh, you know, I forgot to film my intro. <laughs> so here we are. Um, also, for the voiceover, I received an amazing present from my husband Abner. It's the Yeti caster. I actually have not, I don't know anything about it or how to do it or anything, so I'm going to take the time now that I have my vision board finished and I filled the intro. I'm going to take the time to learn how to do this and do a proper voiceover, which I have never really had the capabilities to do. I've always just held up my camera to my mouth <laughs> and just tried to do it that way. So we are going to experiment with this. If the voiceover sounds a little weird, I'm getting used to it. Hopefully I am able to figure it out for this video, but I do want to get something up before the end of the week. So. Keep your fingers crossed that all goes well in my world, in my electronic world. But anyway, if you're interested in seeing my goals and how I set up my vision board, please continue watching. It's kind of funny because <laughs> in my video clips, you can tell I just drank a cup of coffee and now it's like 11 o'clock at night and I'm, I'm a little run down and tired and you can completely tell the difference in my voice and my timber <laughs> but I will try to be as upbeat for you as as I can possibly manage <laughs> so this is kind of like my social media YouTube area that I want to focus on more for 2019 in 2018 I focused more on Instagram and I really had quite a bit of success over there I mean I'm now at like 8500 so that's pretty cool. Uh, but this year I kind of want to focus a little bit more on my YouTube videos, upping the quality, obviously the sound. Now I have uh, that microphone. <laughs> it looks like a golf club with a mirror on it. I don't even know. But I would love to up my lighting situation. So I put a ring light. Uh, the square or I guess rectangle down at the bottom is for my upload schedule. I would really like to figure that out some point. I'm not sure if I want to do one video a day or pff, I, I mean, hello, one video a week <laughs> or like, like try to do two a week. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I just really need to kind of focus on what I want my channel to be if I want it more charcoal or instructional or fun and watercolor. I, d I have no idea. I, I really don't. I find though with commissions, I do so much better or I guess faster 
when I'm not filming them because I can, you know, tilt them any way I want. I, I'm not focused on the actual filming part of it. I can just focus on the drawing and it turns out a lot better. So uh, I don't know if I'm really going to do that much charcoal on my channel anymore. And that's kind of how, that's kind of like some of my big time lapses that I have on here. But we'll, we'll see. And I appreciate you sticking around to see as well. <laughs> This page is kind of like my finance and trip page. Uh, in 2020, Abner and I are considering going to Korea and Japan. Korea so he can meet my birth family in Japan because, hey, we're over in that area, so why not? And so this is kind of like a wish list for us to save for that for 2020. And... That bottom part is like a projection, a mental projection of how I want my finances to go this year. Because, I mean, now that I'm going freelance and I've quit my full-time job, uh, let's just say the savings or the finances are a little steep. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm sure it'll work out. <laughs> I mean, I put it on a vision board, so, you know, it... It better work out. <laughs> and this is my mental health page. <laughs> Funny enough, uh, mental health and and actually I, I do put um, some some uh, vertebrae on here as well. But it's it's more for my mental stability. And this is a person meditating, which I have gravitated toward meditating. Uh, I, I I would like to do every every day but sometimes I forget that red circle with the line on it is actually for a project I'm working on and I, I've kind of failed to to do it I'll, I'll have a video about that later and then I have a yoga person and these are the vertebrae why I did it in purple and blue no no idea Abner looked at that and he was like is that water <laughs> I mean and and that's a very good observation <laughs> <laughs> but I, I guess in the end, this vision board is more just to remind me of the things I need to take care of. So, yeah. I mean, what are your goals for, like, your mental health? It's, it's becoming less and less of a taboo topic to talk about, which is awesome. But... I, I'm not sure. I'm considering like finding a counselor near me just because sometimes it's good to talk to someone. But we'll see. <laughs> this is a scale because my word for 2019 is balance. I am going to try to find the balance with everything and not go crazy or not drive Abner crazy in the process. So we will see how, how that goes. Stay tuned for that. This is more of my physical health, so with water, I need to up my water game because it is really bad. Uh, <laughs> this is a fish with an eye, yet no tail, and it's on a plate. Don't ask, don't ask me why. <laughs> I've never asked me why. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know why I drew the fish with like scales and everything on a plate with its eye, yet no tail. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to make sense. <laughs> It's to remind me, though, basically, to eat more uh, fish instead of red meat because my heart kind of gets a little laggy when I eat red meat. And then, of course, weights to work out because I need to I need to work out more. So those those are my physical goals. And now I'm just painting backgrounds for my words. Actually, one of the things that I would really like to get better at in 2019 is hand lettering because my hand lettering is absolutely terrible. And you'll see that <laughs> as, as the video progresses. Uh, yeah, I just picked random colors for my palette and then decided to draw over them with my Tombow. I can't remember what it's called. It's a Tombow marker pen thingy. So I did like trust and save, be calm, breathe. 
and I, I tried different things and I'm I'm really bad. I'm just really bad at lettering. I don't know why. This was supposed to be adventure, but I just wrote venture. Like venture forth into the unknown. So yeah, that that's that's it for my voiceover. Cut to me and the in the camera again. All right. That's that's the end of the video. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please comment below on some of your goals for 2019, if they line up with mine or if they're if they're different. I'm considering this vision board kind of a work in progress, so nothing is set in place. I taped the things down so I would be able to move them. I would be able to once I accomplish them, I could either take them off or like do something put them in like another area of the board it's just really something for me to be able to have a very fluid and easygoing look so that's why i really like how i did it this year and who knows next year i may want to do it completely different that's the that's the grand thing about stuff like this you can always change it up so thank you so much everyone for watching and i will talk to you later Bye.